Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about torque plot and optical band gap. How to use the torque plot to determine optical band gap. So that being said, let's begin. First, I want to show you the torque plot. Here is the equation. We have the left part and we have the right part. Left part is related to h mu alpha to the power 1 over a. h mu is photon energy. Alpha is optical absorption. We see that the unit for photon energy is electric volts and absorption coefficients with the unit 1 over centimeter. So here h is long constant and mu is frequency of the light. So we also have the power, right, y over n. Actually, it refers to n refers to several conditions. So it could be direct related transition. It could be re uh, related to indirect transition. Or allowed transition and uh, forbidden transition. And on the right part, we have A, A is a constant, we also have H mu, H mu is photon energy, EG, uh, EG is really the uh, optical band gap. And uh, how to use this equation uh, to determine the auto band gap, then we need to have the optical absorption coefficient, right, if we will we could, uh, if we could measure this experimentally, and then we can plot with this. And then we have to decide uh, which end should we use, right? Usually, material will have the, here is direct and indirect, refer to direct band gap or indirect, indirect band gap. So we, we can search the literature and find that. We also have the allowed transition and forbidden transition. So which one should should we use? Allowed transition usually is very strong. So it's related to the uh, electron, really photon, electron, electron transition. So usually we should use this. Here, one is equal to one over two or two. But uh, uh, we also have the forbidden transition. It's not uh, widely used because Forbidden transition is very weak. Usually, it has to have the phonon uh, energy to assist the, the transition. Here, phonon here phonon is really about heat. And uh, when we use the torque plot, uh, we have to uh, understand it. Uh, from a linear, linear, linear line, right? So if we define the right side as one, right? So the right part, we define it as one. So uh, on the right part, if we define h mu is x, and then we can change the torque plot to this equation, right? This equation is very familiar, it's a linear, linear equation, it is a straight line, right? If we plot this, and then we see that uh, the intersection right, between this line and the x-axis is going to be eg, eg is the bound gap. So how it looks like for the torque plot? Here I give, I, I give you the, the graph. So the y-axis is really about the one part. Uh, the uh, the left, left part of the equation. So the x axis is about the h mu photon energy. So we just need to change change the optical absorption, right? Do some uh, do some uh, math and plot this graph. So and here we see that right when the uh, photon energy is very very small, we see that. The absorption actually is very small absorption here, right? Here is more about absorption time, right? Time photon energy, right? 
when absorption is small, so the red part usually is going to be very strong, small. So we can understand that uh, uh, the band gap, uh, the uh, the uh, the photon, yeah, when the photon energy is very small, it's easy to pass through the band band gap. Right? Here is the either straight of the band gap, and with uh, with the energy uh, is strong enough, so some electron can be excited to the conduction conduction band from the valence band. There's an energy energy transfer right from photon to uh, to electron, then electron get excited uh, to the conduction band. So this leads to the energy transfer, right? Energy transfer. So it is really about the energy absorption. So we can see that there is a straight, uh, steep, steep line going up. This area it is the absorption energy. So it is the line that we are going to fit. So here, we can basically draw a straight line along this edge. So we're going to have an intersection between x-axis and this line. So here is going to be the band gap, band gap 3.1 electron volt. So we see this is the equation, yeah, equation, yeah, the linear equation. So the line is here. So on the right part, on this part, so there are also some some optic absorption. This is for high energy, so we don't need to take care about this part. Thank you very much for your watching. If you have any question, please feel free to let me know.